Hey guys, this is Sean Skiji. Today I'm taking you along as I head out to do some off-roading and photography. I'm headed to a large rock outcropping west of Utah Lake called Little Moab. This area provides lots of Moab-like rock crawling obstacles for riders of all levels. I'll share with you some of my photography techniques, including scouting out great shots, shooting, as well as editing. Let's go. Knowing when you have a good shot lined up can be a little tricky and comes with experience. When I get out to shoot, I typically walk around and experiment with different angles. I pretty much walk all the way around my Jeep. I shoot up high, low to the ground, try to blur out some rocks or bushes in the foreground. I shoot a lot. I like using Adobe Lightroom to organize and edit my photos. Once I import my photos in, I like to organize them into a folder. You'll notice I have all the different angles from this particular shoot. And ones that I like, I usually just kind of give it a little star. And that kind of is my personal process of kind of eliminating or identifying which pictures I want to work with or potentially work with. And so I'll just kind of go through star a few of them. I'm not too concerned about if they're over or underexposed or if the cropping's a little bit bad or off. I'm just kind of identifying ones I think I can work with. Once I kind of do that first round, I might come down here and do a sorting and I'll do it by rating. And what this will do is it'll bring all my one stars now up together. And then I can start to even further select the one I really want to work with. And I think this is the one I, I want to work with today. So what I'll do is I'll go to my develop tab. And the very first thing I like to do is I like to just crop it. Usually I'm using my images for Instagram. And so I like to do a one by one, a square cropping. I'm shooting with a pretty high resolution camera, so I could crop it pretty close and still maintain crisp images. You want to kind of keep that in mind. Like if you crop it way too much, then it's going to kind of expand that up and it's going to look a little pixelated. So just kind of be careful not to crop things in too close or you will get some pixelization. Okay, I like to use the grids here also. I mean, you can kind of, kind of play with the rule of thirds, which is, you know, typically uh, you want to keep something a little bit off center, the visual focus. With vehicle photography, I find that you can get away with centering things. My kind of, my kind of personal rule is just to make it kind of look visually interesting. So if you've got some cool things down here, like the rocks and the black marks, kind of want to show that. It shows the vehicles kind of in motion. I try not to kind of slant things too much so that it doesn't look real. You know, I want to be kind of true to, to what I do. Uh, but sometimes I might just tweak it just a little to give it just a tiny bit more angle to it. Okay, once I'm done with the cropping, my next thing I'm going to do is almost every picture I do, I always bring my highlights down. I like to use my histogram up here. I can kind of see... You know, if there's anything right here on the edge, it'll be the black. It'll, it'll be like a true black. And if you have anything right over here, it's going to be a true white. So I've got a few whites still in the image. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hold down my option. But you can also hold down your Alt key. So it's the Alt Option key. And if you scrub the highlight or any of these, and you, you hold down the Alt Option, and then you just scrub the little bar here, 
anything that's white is overexposed. So that's true white. And so I can bring that stuff down. I'm gonna bring those highlights all the way down or almost all the way down. Next, I'm gonna go with my blacks and kind of play with those. Once again, anything that's black is a true black. So if I bring this all the way down, it looks really dark, that's because it is really black there. And I like to just have, you know, maybe a little bit of black and then I'm gonna bump that up anyway with the shadows. Next I'm gonna do is play with my whites. Since those whites are actually lights, I'm kind of okay with those being overexposed. Maybe just a little bit. And I actually might bring my exposure down a little bit too because this is kind of a night shot. And just a little bit of a, I guess the sun was just barely going down and it's kind of a nice effect to, to make it with the lights on and make it look a little bit darker. And I'm gonna bump my shadows up just a little bit just to bring out a little bit more detail and stuff in the rocks. Mainly what I'm doing is I'm trying to get my, my surrounding kind of, surrounding the Jeep kind of where I want. Because my next step is I'm gonna use a mask. And I like to use the radial mask. You gotta be kind of careful not to overdo it with a mask. But I like to just draw a circle around my vehicle and it's faded. Everything that's red is, is gonna have the effects put on it. I'm gonna hide the red just because I wanna be able to see the actual image. Now anything I edit is gonna edit right in the circle here and then it's gonna fade out through to the edges. So if you do too much, it's gonna hit this vignetting and it's gonna be, it's gonna be very obvious how much you manipulated the image. All right. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to bump up the shadows a little. Once again, this is mainly for the Jeep. You can kind of play with it just back and forth to see what you think looks good. Then I'm going to do the clarity, which is kind of like a sharpening tool. Once again, if I do it really far, it's going to almost look unbelievable. But I like to be a little bit more subtle with it. somewhere right in there should look good this little option down here lets you kind of look at it before and after I like doing that just so I can kind of see where I came from and it kind of keeps me in check also did I manipulate the image too much and so sometimes it's nice just to have side by side as you're editing um, there's nothing worse than when someone over edits um, oversaturates an image and it just it just doesn't look real. Um, kind of be true to what it is. Just kind of clean your image up and, and make it just look a little bit crisper, a little bit sharper. Okay, one thing I really like doing is playing with contrast and this is where you can kind of manipulate the hue, the saturation, and the luminance. So it's, it's tucked into this little drop down menu, the HSL and color. Um, I like to start with saturation first. I like to, you know, kind of, play with these a little. Once again, you can kind of go back and forth on these. This is the orange hue. And I love the, the colors that the lights are bringing into the rocks here. So I'm gonna bump that up quite a bit. Play with the yellow and see what that's doing. It looks like that's playing with some of the, the color on the hood. Bring in that, maybe a little bit of that. See what the green does, nothing. So I'm just gonna leave it there. The aqua, a little bit in the windshield, bump that up a bit. Usually, if, since I have a white Jeep, the blue always affects my, my Jeep because it's white and it picks up the blue quite a bit. Um, usually the backgrounds also, you can see if I bump that all the way up, there is a lot of blue in this image. So depending on the image, I might actually bring it down quite a bit and give it a little bit more of that black and white feel. This particular one, I want to bring in a little bit more blue. Okay, and then just play with these other ones. Looks like purple, a little bit in the sky there. I might bump that in a little bit. And the magenta, once again, a little bit in the sky. I might just bring it in a little bit there. And I think this image is pretty close. 
I might just come play with our temperature a little now and make the whole image. I mean, you can kind of play with these, but I think just warming the whole image up now just a tiny bit. And usually the tent is one I typically don't play with because once you mess with this, it, it kind of looks fake. And so I'm gonna put that back to its normal and bring in a little bit more yellow. And I think that looks pretty good for what I'm going for. Before and after. Okay, I think I like that one.